The Cosmo archetype is a TCG exclusive set that debuted in Clash of Rebellions. They appear to be based on a hybrid of properties between the Wizard of Oz franchise and the Star Wars franchise. With the monsters being made up of both light and dark attributes, with psychic type monsters as pilots that represent characters from the films, and machine type monsters as spaceships which represent objects and vehicles. The field spell cards also represent specific moments in the films too. So how about we take a look at each each one of the Cosmo monsters and figure out which characters or objects that they are a mashup of. Starting with Cosmo Tin Can. His effect is during either player's turn, you can manage this card, special summon one level two or higher Cosmo monster from your hand. You can only use the effect of Cosmo Tin Can once per turn. Once per turn, during the end phase, you can pay 500 life points, reveal three Cosmo cards with different names from your deck. Your opponent randomly picks one for you to add to your hand, and you send the rest of the cards to the graveyard. Cosmo Tin Can is based on the Tin Man from the Wizard of Oz series. In the film, the Tin Man lacks a heart, and if we take a closer look at the artwork, we can see a reference to this based on the heart-shaped object on the left side of his chest. As well, it possesses a similar styled funnel hat as the hat that the Tin Man wore. Cosmo Tin Can is also a reference to R2-D2 from the Star Wars series, most obvious by the small shape and angle of the monster, very similar to R2-D2. As well as the fact that Cosmo Straw Man is by his side, which is a further nod to the character. Speaking of, Cosmo Straw Man. During either player's turn, you can manage this card, special summon one level three or higher Cosmo monster from your hand. You can only use the effect of Cosmo Straw Man once per turn. Once per turn, you can pay 500 life points, then target one of your banished Cosmo monsters, special summon it. But its effects are negated. Also destroy it during the end phase. Cosmo Straw Man is based on the Scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz series. While sharing very few visual characteristics similar to that of the Scarecrow, Straw Man is tall and and gangly, much like the Scarecrow. In the film, the Scarecrow lacked a brain as well. And this is a total guess, but based on the very odd position that the monster is in, it could be a reference to how it doesn't have complete control over its body, because it lacks the cognitive functions, maybe? It's just a guess. The Straw Man is also a reference to C-3PO from Star Wars. C-3PO was designed as a protocol droid in the series, intended to assist in etiquette, customs, and translations, apparently being fluent in over 6 million forms of communication as well. It is with the C-3PO references that the design of this monster more strongly resembles. He is a tall humanoid, but artificial looking at the same time. C-3PO did not walk around the most gracefully, if we're honest, and neither does Straw Man. Also, the fact that this monster is paired with Cosmo Tin Can, much in the same way that R2-D2 is paired with C-3PO, solidifies this reference. Cosmo Scaredy Lion during either player's turn, you can manage this card, special summon one level three or higher Cosmo monster from your hand. You can only use the effect of Cosmo Scaredy Lion once per turn. Once per turn, you can pay 500 life points, then target three of your banished Cosmo monsters, return them to the graveyard, and if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Cosmo Scaredy Lion is based on the Cowardly Lion from The Wizard of Oz. This one is the most in-your-face reference, based on the name of the monster, the fact that it is a, a lion-like creature, and it is crying in in fear. Also, the dog that appears in this card's artwork also appears in Cosmo Farm Girl's artwork, and is of course a reference to Dorothy's dog, Toto, who the Cowardly Lion was frightened of in the film. The Cowardly Lion lacked courage in the films, so of course this is made obvious by this monster's name and its appearance being scared. In reference to his Star Wars origins, he is a reference to Chewbacca, a Wookiee from the planet Kashyyyk. Again, this is made obvious as Chewbacca is coated in fur, and so is this monster. His attire and background location also depicts the Star Wars theme as well. Cosmo Farm Girl. During either player's turn, you can manage this card, special summon one level four or higher Cosmo monster from your hand. You can only use the effect of Cosmo Farm Girl once per turn. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can pay 500 life points, add one Cosmo card from your deck to your hand. Cosmo Farm Girl is based on Dorothy Gale from The Wizard of Oz, and he's either a reference to Luke Skywalker or Anakin Skywalker. Dorothy and Luke Skywalker actually share a similar origin story. Having been orphaned at a young age and being raised by their aunt and uncle in the bleak landscape of Kansas Farm or Tatooine. 
Mm. The name of the monster is also a reference to the movie character's simple lives before being whisked away on their journeys. Like Anakin, this monster is a skilled mechanic who built her own robotic companion and a vehicle. Appearance-wise, Cosmo Farm Girl more closely reflects Dorothy, being a girl and having a pet companion in the form of a dog. The blaster in her hand is more of a Star Wars-esque reference, but the fact that she is a farm girl matches both Dorothy and Luke. Her appearance could also possibly be based on another Star Wars expanded universe character known as Mera Jade, who shares a similar set of goggles, red hair, cloak and black gloves. And this monster appears in the artworks of Cosmo Forerunner, Cosmo Light Sword, Cosmo Slip Rider, Cosmo Strawman, Cosmojo and Cosmorning. Cosmo Saw Troopers. During either player's turn, you can banish this card, special summon one level four or higher Cosmo monster from your hand. You can use the effect of Cosmo Saw Troopers once per turn. Once per turn, you can pay 1,000 life points, then target one psychic type Cosmo monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Cosmo Saw Troopers are based on the winged monkeys from The Wizard of Oz, whom the Wicked Witch of the West sends out to hunt Dorothy. This is most noticeable by the name of Saw and the wings on the monster's backs. Fly, my pretties! <laughs> my reference there you go also their face masks have a monkey-esque appearance to them its star wars reference is obviously of the stormtroopers with their full body armor face masks blasters and the background being star wars-esque the only major difference is the fact that their color scheme is reversed as store troopers typically wore white and these guys are wearing black actually i think there was some stormtroopers that wore black i think it was the the fighter pilot ones in fact if that makes sense actually if it is the fighter pilot ones then that's a really clever reference. I just can't bother to look it up there because I'm already recording the audio, but I'm taking you out at the moment. I'm sorry, I'll get back to the trivia. This monster also appears in the artworks of Cosmo Land Walker and Cosmo Dark Lady. Cosmo Wicked Witch. During either player's turn, you can banish this card, special summon one level five or higher Cosmo monster from your hand. You can only use the effect of Cosmo Wicked Witch once per turn. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can pay 1,000 life points this turn. This card cannot be destroyed by cards or card effects. This monster is based on a combination of the Wicked Witch of the East from the novel The Wonderful Wizard of Oz and from Darth Maul from the Star Wars series, both of which serve as antagonists from their franchises. From the movie, you may remember the Wicked Witch of the East being crushed by Dorothy's house. At the time, she was wearing the famous ruby slippers that got passed on to Dorothy. However, in the original book, the ruby slippers were in fact silver. They were only changed because people believed it would look better on film to have ruby slippers. However, the silver shoes match the attire of Cosmo Wicked Witch, a fantastic reference to its origins. Cosmo Wicked Witch's Star Wars reference is to Darth Maul, a Sith Lord and a master of wielding a dual-bladed lightsaber. Coincidentally, when we look at the weapon Wicked Witch wields, it is a dual-bladed red lightsword, similar to that of Darth Maul's. Her attire as well is also very reminiscent of a Sith Lord 2. And this monster appears in the artwork of Cosmo Light Sword. Cosmo Good Witch. During either player's turn, you can manage this card, special summon one level five or higher Cosmo monster from your hand. You can only use the effect of Cosmo Good Witch once per turn. Once per turn, you can pay 500 life points, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls, change it to face down defense position. Now, this monster is based on a combination of the Good Witch of the North from the novel and Obi-Wan Kenobi, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Yoda from Star Wars, which all served as mentors to the protagonists of their stories. Her Good Witch which references in her artwork are her fairy wings and her weapon that looks almost like a wand. Her Star Wars references come from the fact that she wields a green light sword, much in the same way Qui-Gon Jinn and Yoda did. In the Star Wars universe, a green lightsaber does have a meaning. The crystal that is inside the lightsaber, known as a kyber crystal, depending on the colour it emanates, reflects what the person seeks. Green represents peace and harmony. Both the Star Wars characters that this card depicts, as well as the Good Witch of the North, also seeked peace in their land. And this monster appears in the artwork of Cosmo Light Sword and Cosmorning. 
Cosmol Dark Lady. During either player's turn, you can banish this card. Special summon one level six or higher Cosmol monster from your hand. You can only use the effect of Cosmol Dark Lady once per turn. Once per turn, during either player's turn, when another monster's effect is activated, you can pay 1,000 life points, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that monster. Now, this monster is based on a combination of the Wicked Witch of the West from the novel The Wonderful Wizard of Oz and Darth Vader from Star Wars. Both serve as the final antagonist of their stories. This card's name is also a reference to Darth Vader's title as Dark Lord of the Sith, with Lady being the feminine equivalent to the Lord title. This card's Japanese name is a reference to the musical Wicked, in which the witch's name is Elphaber. There are loads of references to the characters this card portrays. For example, its dark black colour scheme, its pointy hat, its face mask, its light sword, and the fact that it's in a, a hangar-esque background with legions of followers. Cosmo Saw Troopers and Cosmo Delta Shuttle appear in the background. This card's left arm appears in the artwork of Cosmojo, and an unmasked version of her appears in the artwork of Cosmorning. In the artwork of Cosmorning, Cosmo Farm Girl appears appears to be grieving over her death. This is most likely an allusion to the death of Darth Vader, who was revealed to be Luke Skywalker's father. Spoiler. <laughs> it is also possible Dark Lady could be related to Farm Girl. Cosmo Slip Rider. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one spell or trap card on the field, destroy it. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one level four or lower Cosmo Monster from your deck. Cosmo Slip Rider is based on the Ruby Slippers from the Wizard of Oz. Notable by its bright red colour scheme and the fact that Cosmo Farm Girl is in the cockpit, fitting as she also built the ship. I also assume that she slipped into the cockpit in a similar fashion to how Dorothy slipped into the slippers. It's worth mentioning as well that per the original book, the Silver Shoes, aka the Ruby Slippers, had the power to transport the wearer anywhere that they wished. So the fact that this card is depicted as a spaceship, another device with the power to transport you anywhere, is very fitting. Its Star Wars influence is, of course, the fighter spaceships, such as the Ark-170 Starfighter and the X-Wing Starfighters. And this monster appears in the artwork of Cosmo Forerunner. Cosmo Delta Shuttle. Once per turn, you can send one Cosmo monster from your deck to the graveyard, then target one face-up monster on the field. It loses attack and defense equal to the sent monster's level times 100. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon a level 4 or lower Cosmo monster from your deck. Cosmo Delta Shuttle may be based on the wild crows from the Wizard of Oz that harass the Scarecrow. Its Star Wars influence is based on a V-19 torrent or or Imperial Shuttle Ship. Several copies of Cosmo Dog Fighter and or Dog Fighter Token appear in this card's artwork, and at least one copy of this monster appears in the artwork of Cosmo Dark Eclipser. Cosmo Dogfighter. Once per turn, during the standby phase, you can special summon one Dogfighter token. Machine type Dark, level 6, 2000 attack, 2400 defense. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon one level 5 or lower Cosmo monster from your deck. This card is based on the wolf that appears in the books that the Tin Man had to kill with his axe. Similarly, its Star Wars reference is antagonistic, referencing the TIE Fighters or vulture droids used by the enemies of the series. This card's effect could be a reference to the strategy that is used by the tie line of star fighters in the Star Wars franchise, where multiples of the ship would overwhelm in large numbers. And this card's name could be a pun on dogfighting, a situation where multiple small and agile fighter craft engage in very close range combat, while at the same time maneuvering to avoid enemy fire. Cosmo Landwalker. If a Cosmo card you control will be destroyed by battle or by opponent's card effects, you can destroy one other Cosmo card you control instead. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon a level 5 or lower Cosmo monster from your deck. This monster is based on a giant spider from the Wizard of Oz books, in which Dorothy was attacked by a giant spider and the cowardly lion has to kill it. Looking at the artwork though, we notice it is much more based on the 8080s from Star Wars, also known as the all-terrain armored transport. It could also be a reference to the homing spider droid. 
eight copies of Cosmo Sort Troopers, three copies of Cosmo Delta Shuttle, and two other copies of this monster appear in this card's artwork. Cosmo Forerunner. Can I be targeted by an opponent's card effects during your standby phase? Gain a thousand life points. If this card is destroyed by a battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon level six or lower Cosmo monster from your deck. This monster is based on the silver shoes that appeared in the original The Wonderful Wizard of Oz book. Again, as we mentioned before, the silver shoes have the power to transport you anywhere. And with it taking the form of a spaceship, this is fitting. But what spaceship is it referencing? Well, it's the Millennium Falcon. The modified YT-1300F Corellian Light Freighter, which was commanded by the smuggler Han Solo and his Wookiee first mate, Chewbacca. Cosmo Sliprider also appears in this card's artwork, and this monster appears in the artwork of Cosmo Town. Cosmo Dark Destroyer. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one monster on the field, destroy it. Cannot be targeted by an opponent's card effect. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon one level seven or lower Cosmo monster from your deck. This card is based on the flying broomstick from the Wizard of Oz, which was used for the Wicked Witch to fly with. It is also based on the Scimitar Sith Infiltrator from Star Wars, which was a heavily modified Star Courier and the personal starship of Darth Maul. And fun fact, this is the first Cosmo card to ever become limited. Cosmo Dark Eclipser. Its effect is it cannot be targeted by an opponent's card effect during either player's turn. When a trap card is activated, you can banish one Cosmo monster from your graveyard, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add one level eight or lower Cosmo monster from your deck to your hand. Now, this card is based on the Black Bees from the Wizard of Oz novel, where the witch sends a swarm of Black Bees after Dorothy. The Scarecrow uses his straw to protect Dorothy and the lion, since they were the only ones that could be harmed by them. The spacecraft in the artwork is based on the Eclipse class Super Star Destroyer from the Star Wars franchise. This card was the first machine type Cosmo monster that does not special summon a Cosmo monster with a lower level from the deck. Instead, it adds a Cosmo monster with a lower level from your deck to your hand. Several copies of Cosmo Dog Fighter, or the token version of it, and at least one Cosmo Delta Shuttle appear in this card's artwork. Cosmo Dark Planet. Cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned from your hand by banishing Cosmo monsters from your hand whose total levels equals 10 or more. Cannot be special summoned by other ways. Cannot be targeted by an opponent's card effect. During either player's turn, when a spell card is activated, you can banish one Cosmo monster from your graveyard, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add one level nine or lower Cosmo monster from your deck to your hand. This monster is based on a combination of the Wicked Witch's castle from The Wizard of Oz, and of course, the Death Star from Star Wars. Might as well mention the support cards and what they're referencing. Cosmo Light Sword is referencing a wand from The Wizard of Oz and a lightsaber from Star Wars. Cosmojo is referencing magic from The Wizard of Oz and the Force, or specifically a Force Choke from Star Wars. Cosmo Town is referencing Emerald City from The Wizard of Oz and Coruscant from Star Wars. Cosmorning is referencing the death of the Wicked Witch of the West in The Wizard of Oz and the death of Darth Vader in Star Wars. And with that, guys, that is the Cosmo archetype done. Thank you to the person that suggested this card. It was an awesome suggestion. Let me know, guys, what this deck plays like. I have never played it. I, I kind of feel like making it now with all the references. It seems pretty damn cool. But other than that, guys, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave the video a like, and thanks for watching.